Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sudo Kudo here, and today we're doing an unboxing and review of the EVGA XR1 Lite USB C capture card. Um, and this will be a review for it on Linux. Um, so we have the box here. I cut the security tape just so I could do it one handed. This is what it looks like uh, it says OBS certified on there. On the back, it says system requirements. Windows, Linux, um, Windows, Mac OS, no Linux there, but we can see in the specifications, USB-C, HDMI 1 pass-through, uh, it goes, uh, the pass-through resolution is I think 4K 60fps, but the max capture is 1080p 60fps, which is, I think the, the max fine you already want to do for like streaming or recording uh, for YouTube and Twitch, that's 1080p 60fps. Um, See if we can get this to focus here. Well, uh, uh, it uses USB-C, um, USB 3.0, so hopefully there won't be a bandwidth limitation when you're actually capturing stuff. And it's using UVC, so it should work out of the box with Linux. Um, QR code for multi-language. Uh, uh, the, the, the box seems pretty, pretty hefty and pretty nice. This capture card is actually a pretty nice budget one, at least from the options that I found online. Since it's sub 100 and it's a name brand, um, so you have some semblance of quality out of the box. On on Amazon, there's like a lot of weird like um, USB capture cards that say they're like 4K um, pass through or like 1080p. Uh, 30 fps capture 60 fps capture but they're not actually uh, they say they're usb 3 but they're not actually so hopefully this is a bit more legit there we go one-handed opening pull this out it, it does come sealed um i had to break it just so i could open it one-handed um so that's nice you know, it's legit oh that's a hefty thing i wonder what that is it's a quick start don't need that and ooh, it comes wrapped in some paper. Very premium feeling. I think I have to open up this entire box. Somehow. Let me just tap here. Okay, cool. So let's see what we got. We got a USB-A to USB-C cable, which is pretty interesting. Um, one of the benefits, um, so this though for me is that I have a laptop that has USB-C, so I can use USB-C to USB-C with this capture card. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, we have an HDMI cable, that's, that's a really nice freebie. Um, it's actually really nice that they included that in there. Let's see what else. There's nothing else in here, so it's just the capture card left. Let's see if I can get it outside of this box. Yeah, I can set it out. <laughs> so here's what it looks like um, a weird like undulating design it says XR1 on it very actually nice looking uh, let's see what it says on the side it says light I don't know if you guys can see that a lot of weird extra space on the side I don't know why oh XR1 so it's the one and then light is within the one but yeah very very sleek very elegant design has some heft to it feels nice on the back here, we got our little certification sticker. OBS is an open source project. I don't know <laughs> why would they have a certification sticker. Got some nice, like rubbery feet. Almost feels like Teflon, but not really. Um, and yeah, the, we got our HDMI out and USB-C out and then our HDMI in. Let's put this on the table. Yeah, it sits very nice on the table, does not slide at all. Um, feels like a pretty good piece of kit. So let's actually hop into Linux and check it out. Okay, so here we are on OBS and we're gonna add the capture card. So what we wanna do is add a new source and do video for Linux. Um, yeah, so we're gonna add our source. We can set the resolution and frame rate here uh, and we can see a preview of the capture card and what it sees. So once you add it, um, you can also add the audio device, uh, 
uh, for the capture card because it will capture the HDMI audio. Um, you want to set it up with the mixer. Um, but first you need to change the audio settings in the settings panel. Uh, so I put it under uh, auxiliary. Uh, and you can see the capture card shows up there as analog stereo. And once we select that, we just hit apply. And then boom, it shows up in our mixer and we can adjust the mix of the volume now. Uh, right now it's just the PlayStation menu, but we'll switch over to the actual um, uh, the actual video source. Um, right now we're just recording our, our desktop. But yeah, you, you would wanna do the track settings um, for if you are recording your voice and your desktop audio and then your actual capture card audio. Um, I can show that in a later video if you wanna see how to do that and how to extract all the tracks at the end. Uh, but for streaming, you just wanna use a mixer um, and use audio mixer, but yeah. Here we are in Spider-Man and let's see how it looks. Oh, but um, one thing we want to do is actually, uh, for PS4 specifically, um, there's uh, HDMI content protection, and we want to turn that off. Otherwise, we won't be able to actually capture what our PlayStation sees. Um, so once you turn that off, um, you'll be able to see see the gameplay in OBS. And here we are in Spider-Man. You can take a look for the for the quality yourself. I chose Spider-Man because it's a very uh, visually playing game. And I, I think I think the video the video quality is pretty good. Um, any like capture um, compression is probably going to be overshadowed by your actual encoding um, the video compression. Uh, so as a capture card, an entry level capture card, um, for someone on Linux, this is a very good buy in my opinion. Uh, the quality is very good. It does 1080p, 60fps, 4K, 30fps. Um, on a very nice, clean, and neat package. Um, before this card was released, there was actually no kind of like alternatives. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and see you guys later. Pseudo Pluto out.